Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTech.com. Today in this lecture, we will solve a problem under how to solve section. And just to remind how to solve under this section, we basically learn how to approach towards a problem, not just we solve the problem. Okay, so this is a question which was basically asked in GATE 2006. So this is a GATE problem and it was asked in 2006 okay and the problem is very simple we have to understand it and solve it so the question is saying that we have been given few functional dependencies that is a b determines c d a f determines d d e determines f c determines g f determines e and g determines a now which of the following given option is false so be careful they are asking which of the following option is false not true okay so we have to find out the option which is basically incorrect that is false okay so let's understand the option it is saying that closure of AF is equal to ACDEFG so here we have to understand first closer of attribute or attributes closer of attribute or attributes well so what is basically the closer of attribute so it simply means when I'm saying closer of CF and it is basically denoted by this symbol CF plus it means that the collection of all the attributes which can be determined using the given functional dependencies from the CF as a seed attribute. I'll repeat myself. Closer of attribute is collection of attributes that is all the attributes which can be determined using these given functional dependencies and this c and f attribute as a seed okay so let's understand this by solving for this first option so first option we have been given closer of cf which is equal to a c d e f and g so to find out closer what we will do or to simplify we will uh, i mean once you are handy with this kind of problems it won't be a tough job for you but initially to avoid the confusion I'll approach a simple method like this so I will write down all the possible attributes in the given relation which is a b c d e f and g okay and for the first option where we have closer of CF that is CF plus equal to I'll just put some dot dot for each of the attribute and we will see which one of them we can determine using CF so CF we have to determine attributes from C and F it means that C and F are given right so as c f c and f are given it means that it is already determined right so from c f and f we can always determine c and f fine now what we have to do is we have to use functional dependencies and we can see if by using these function functional dependencies can we determine some additional attribute okay so here we have c and f and these functional dependencies so as we can see a and b the first functional dependency we cannot use because we don't have a and b attribute now a and f we cannot use because we don't have a and f fine similarly c and d cannot be used d and e cannot be used c determines g so this we can use for the first time as we have c so using this attribute C we can determine G so find G can be determined now 
we have f so as you can see here we have f attribute already there which is given in this so f attribute we have already now using this f attribute we can determine e so we have now e attribute okay now this g can determine a so using this functional dependency and this attribute g i can determine a okay fine now we will again repeat the process i'll start checking from the first functional dependency so using a b can i determine c d so here you can see a is there but b is not there so we can use this functional dependency only if we have a and b both as we have a and we don't have b so we cannot use this functional dependency okay so now now a f determines t so let's see a and f we have a and we have f so yes we can use this functional dependency so using this functional dependency and a and f attribute which we have already determined we can determine d okay so now let's see if we can use d e so d e we have d and we have e but we have already det determined f right we have already this f element so what is our next in intention is that can we determine b somehow so if you see in all the functional dependencies there is none of the functional dependency which has b in the right hand side it means b cannot be determined i will repeat myself among all the functional dependency we don't have any functional dependency for which b is in the right hand side it means b cannot be determined okay so fine now we have a c d e f and g so this is the option option also has a c d e f and g so this is basically true but most of us uh, do this kind of mistake when we don't have uh, or we have shortage of time so the question is asking for false option and this option is true so this option is true but this is not our answer so we have to find out an option which is incorrect fine so similarly we will quickly check for bg bg plus that is closer of bg so again i'll just make fine so bg from b and g we can always determine b and g okay now using g we can determine a from this functional dependency okay so i'll write a now using a b from the first functional dependency i can determine c d so as we have a as we have b so using this functional first functional dependency i can determine c and d fine now as i have d and e we don't have e we cannot use this functional dependency we have c but we have already determined g already so we cannot use this we don't have f we cannot use this functional dependency we have g but a is already determined so once in the whole whole iteration if there is no change then we need not to check it again fine so this is what we can determine from bg so a b c d g a b c d g fine so this is also correct but this is not our answer we will check for a f now so a f plus i will again put some dot sign fine and now a and f so using a and with f obviously we already have a and f now using this f we can determine e so e is also determined now fine now using this fine we will check one by one so c this was first functional dependency to use this we need to have a and b both but we don't have b so we cannot use this now a and f we have a but we don't oh yes we have f so we can determine d here right so using this functional dependency 
as we have a and f so we can determine d okay now using d and e we can determine f so using this d and e we can determine f which is already determined right fine so using c and g using c we can determine g so using c c is not there so we cannot use this functional dependency using f we can determine e, e is already determined using g we can determine a but we don't have g so we will check it again see using this functional dependency a b we cannot use because we don't have b a f we can use and we can find out d but d is already determined using d e we can determine f but f is already determined using c here c is determining g but we don't have c so we cannot use this functional dependency now using f yes we can determine e but we already have e and using g we can determine a but we don't have g so we cannot use this functional dependency fine so there is no change so this is the final closure of a and f which is not equal to what is given in the option okay so this is wrong so as this is wrong and our intention was to find out a false option so the answer is answer is c okay so i hope you understand this if you have any doubt please ask your doubt in in the doubt section related to this topic or you can comment below so thanks for watching